There he is. You know, we're out here in Northern California today, fishing some deep grass. You know, this is one of my favorite things to do in the winter. You know, this grass is dying off. And uh, out here with Tackle Warehouse, throwing the Strike King Rage Bug with the little owner J Rig. You know, it's, uh, it's definitely cold out. You can see it's, it's a, it's a beautiful day, but it's cold. And we're gonna catch some big largemouth, hopefully on this owner J Rig and the, the Rage Bug and some deep grass. So stay tuned, you guys. We're gonna have a good day. There he is. You know, we're fishing some grass right now. Oh, look at this one. Fishing this Strike King Rage Bug. And the whole key is we're fishing on this owner J Rig, the Jig Rig. And this is one of my favorite ways to fish grass. You know, it's, it's uh, right now wintertime fishing. Fishing's a little slow. You can see there's no wind out here, and we're fishing right on the edge of grass. And this J rig, you know, with this little rage bug on there from Strike King, goes through structure really well. You know, and you can kind of just slide it through the grass. It doesn't hang up like a Texas rig, and it's got a really cool action that fish haven't seen. And, you know, anytime fish haven't seen something, you're gonna get a lot more bites like that. There he is. Oh, it's a nice one. You know, this bait is so good in structure. You know, it's one of my favorite ways to fish structure, especially when the grass is thinning out and you can't really throw a Texas rig. But rod and reel setup is key. You know, today we're throwing this on a 7.6 seven, Daiwa Tattoo Elite, Elite Rod, you know, this is a flip and stick actually, the Ish Monroe design, but it's got a really good bend to it and it fishes this bait really well. You know, as far as line, you want a little bit stiffer line than you wanted that thing. You know, this is a, a 15 pound Seaguar Tattoo and then the reel, you know, this is a Tattoo SV reel. You know, that's a, that's a must with that SV spool on there and a 7-3 gear ratio. And that SV spool, you know, when you go out there and you make a long cast with that T-wing system, it's gonna allow you to fish this bait. You know, it's not a heavy bait. We're talking that's a quarter ounce weight and the, the bait, but you can make a long, effective cast and get to some of those fish without spooking them. You know, what's really cool about that fish is I'm going across this grass flat. I happen to look down on the Garmin on this little echo map here, and I saw an arch, I saw that fish. So I kind of pitched that little uh, rage bug and J-Rig back there, and you know, this thing, like I said, it goes through grass and structure really, really well. There's been so many times where, you know, I'm fishing grass like we are today, the grass is dying off, and uh, it just goes through it really well, and including rock, wood. You know, if you're fishing a shallow rock pile, you can really fish this thing effectively where a, a regular jig, a football jig, would snag up. And uh, you know, it's, it's an easy bait to fish. You know, what I like to do, I like to throw it out there, you know, let it hit the bottom, let that thing fall. It's got a different look, a different action, just because the weight will fall straight down first and then the bait will be right behind it. And then once you shake it on the bottom, you know, that bait's gonna lay horizontal um, when, you're, when you're slowly shaking it compared to vertical up and down every single time. And I like to just kind of hop it along you know, hop it just like you'd fish a, a normal jig or a Texas rig. Just hop up and down, just like this, or I'll slowly drag it through and just let that tungsten weight or the lead weight, there's two different versions of this, just tick every rock, every piece of grass, and just have that bait come to life, you know. A, a key for me too is the bait with this rig, because you want a small, compact bait like that little rage bug there, and you know, the, the pinchers, they're, they're all moving, it shows off really good, and it looks like a little crawdad or a bluegill, whatever the fish are feeding on. And it's something they haven't seen, it catches a lot of fish, 
and it's an easy bait to fish in some really effective cover where fish live. There he is. Oh, this feels like a good one. Another nice one on this J rig. Oh, yeah. Nice large mouth. Oh my gosh, this thing's fired up. This is such a cool little technique, you know. This is really kind of new to the bass fishing world. And it just goes through, like I've said before, but structure so well. You know, really paired up with this Tattoo Elite Rod, the 7.6 with the AGS guides on there. You feel every single bite, you know, when you're fishing a bait like this, that is gonna be key. I mean, look at that. That fish was hungry for that little rage bug there. I mean, what an awesome bait. Like I said, it goes through stuff really well. You can fish it virtually anywhere and uh, just show them something different. Another beautiful fish. That'll work. Oh my gosh, big one. Oh, look at that. You know, I was bringing it, reeling it through the grass, and that thing clobbered it. That's what's so cool about this J rig and this rage bug. You could fish it in any structure and catch big ones. Look at that. Reeling it up through the grass, that thing jumped on it. And, you know, because you're going to have a 15 pound or a bigger line, you're going to be able to good hook, get a good hook set on them catch some big ones man this has been an absolute blast today fishing you guys remember to like share tag a friend for your chance to win some great stuff from die one strike game and remember all these great products are available at tacklewarehouse.com what a fish